What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer, and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the new characters coming, uh, the new unicorns. Uh, which is kind of ironic because we were actually having a conversation about this a couple weeks ago. Where we were like, man, I wish Khan would actually get go back to like releasing new heroes all the time. And it was like, well, what heroes haven't been released? I'm like, yo, there's a ton of heroes. Like, we don't even have a unicorn yet. So, um, sure enough, a unicorn is coming. So... I wanted to kind of look at these with you guys and kind of give you an idea of what to expect. Uh, before we get into that, though, the thing that scares me about this character is that there's two shapes. I don't know exactly how the shape is going to work, but I'm assuming it's similar to, like, the samurai with, like, the sword of supreme uh, sky wolf thing or whatever. So, I'm hoping that there's a chance for it to just proc and then once they, you know shape change or whatever then they have like empowered skills does that make sense um but if it's something where it's like an active thing where they have to actually where you actually have to select their shape change for them to shift then i can just tell you right now that on auto they are going to be annoying as hell <laughs> right like they will probably not work the way that they're supposed to work if that makes sense so, it's just one of those things, we have no idea, I mean, we got the rough translation of what the skills do, so it's just one of those things that we'll have to wait and see. I anticipate that since the downloaded data came out uh, recently, the patch will probably drop tonight, or if not tonight, it'll probably drop early next week. Uh, so, we're just going to have to wait for that to happen. So, anyway, let's talk about these scales here and what they look at. So, shape one for the water unicorn, Amelia, is a 25% chance to freeze with the HP base damage increase. So, from what they said that these are all HP types. Uh, so, skill two is a 75% taunt and revenge for two turns. Uh, skill three, uh, two turn defense buff if attacked, uh, only activates once a turn. So if it's attack, it automatically breaks defense, which can be nice, especially if you have her like on an HP bruiser build with like some crit damage or crit rate. Now the shape two, um, you get 30% less max HP and HP based speed increase. I have no idea. So I guess her speed goes up based on her HP, but she sacrifices 30% HP. Skill one's the same. Skill two is a cleanse team and a two turn death buff. Um, skill three is one turn immunity for team every turn. Uh, not sure if it's all he says. Not sure if it's all teammates or just one. And then skill four recovers turn instantly. So I don't, I don't know, man. It's super weird. Like I said, it could be a chance to proc, right? So if like they shape shift or whatever, then they'll use one of the skills out of the kit, I guess, and then instantly turn back. But I'd imagine that all the skills would have to share their own individual cooldown, if that's how it works. But I, like I said, I don't know. It's going to be really weird to see. But for the Shape 2 of the Water one, I mean, it's pretty OP to have a... If it is an AoE cleanse and then you have a one-turn immunity, I mean, that's pretty annoying. Especially when you pair it with the Taunt and then the Freeze on Skill 1. Um, so it basically turns from a an annoying tank to a AoE cleanse, but they lose 30% of their HP, which shouldn't be too bad, honestly, if it's an HP build, because, I mean, you figure if you, you got her on 30, 30k HP, and she loses 10k, I mean, she's still at 20k, and now she's a cleanser and gives immunity, so it's all good. Where would I use her at? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, but with the cleanse, I mean, you could probably use her in raid uh, with the immunity, probably there too, especially with the two-turn debuff. Uh, she definitely could be raid, but again... Off the skill, you know, off the shape one, I don't know. Like I said, we're just going to have to see how these works. So the Fire Unicorn, um, her skill one has a 25% stun. So this is interesting because most of the time, most of the monsters that they release, all the skill ones are exactly the same, but these look like they have some variation. So the skill one here is also HP based damage. Uh, you give it a 30% max HP self shield and 20% for all teammates, which is a super OP skill. Skill 3, 50% receive damage decrease from fire monsters, which is cool. Um, and then, uh, then of course, the shape change. Skill 1 is the same, except it's not HP based. Two turn death break, so AoE death break here. If HP crit attack, 25%, uh, who cares? Um, okay, so if you land a crit, you get a 25% attack boost, which could be pretty annoying on Vio. Um, kit seems really, really basic. But like I said, with that combo, like depending on how it works, 
if the shape shifting works well, um, that could be pretty annoying, especially with the skill two combined um, with the attack bar boost. So it's just like wavering in between increasing her own attack bar and then also basically buffing the rest of your team. So that could be cool. Uh, the wind unicorn Diana also has the stun. Um, 30% max HP, so also the self-shield. And then if any teammate is attacked, her attack bar um, gets 20% boost as a passive. That's going to be really, really good. Um, could be really annoying. Could be nice for guild battle. Um, and then with the self-shield, definitely, 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 definitely guild battle. Um, so that that's where that could be used there. Let's see. Shape 2. Attacks something four times. Removes one beneficial effect each time. And then adds a continuous damage effect for each beneficial effect removed. So that could be good. Uh, potentially using her like in a giant situation. Uh, also 25% attack boost. So she's just going to be an attack boosting queen. Pretty annoying. Um, yeah, with the self shield, that's going to be... That's, she's The win unicorn Diana so far as a support, I would say, is probably the most useful. Uh, the rest of like the water and the fire, their kits are kind of all over the place. But the win win seems like... It's definitely uh, going to be legit. So Light Unicorn, Eleanor, also stun, taunt. Uh, skill 3 for all incoming attacks to itself. 15% glancing chance, 15% less crit passive. So she's basically a natural tank. Um, she has a, a, a team cleanse and an anti-crit buff for her shape 2. And one turn immunity. So a pure support, basically, uh, for her. Dark Unicorn... Self shield, oh, skill three is a 30% damage reflect. Oh my god, that's going to be annoying. And I know they're going to introduce a new TOA with these unicorns, so you guys just be ready for it. And it's going to be really, really annoying to deal with that. Um, okay, so two turn glance and attack debuff for all enemies for the shape shift for the dark one. Um, and then if hit with a crit 25% attack boost. So mostly, I mean, from the looks of it, if all of these skills are the same, I'll post the link to this Reddit so you guys can kind of see it um, when you guys check it out. And I just realized that you guys can't see my face. Oh, there's my face. <laughs> but uh, most of these skills, they kind of just all look the same. Like I said, um, we'll have to wait and see how these roll and really how the shape shifting works to, to determine how useful or unuseful these units will be. But at first look, they don't really look that OP. Like they're not, they're not really that game changing. Uh, I mean, there's some niche situations that I see in here that they could be useful for, uh, or that you could potentially use them for. Like the, you know, for instance, like the one unicorn with the continuous damage, um, and stuff like that for like giants or something. But you know, all in all, I mean, yeah, dude. Like I don't know. It's it's just really gonna depend how they shape shift, when they shape shift, what their AI is gonna be set to, and you know what their positioning is overall but maybe they'll look cool <laughs> i don't know let me know what you guys think about these i'll post a link to the reddit to so you guys can check these out for yourself i'll post a link to the reddit uh in the uh the video description box so you guys can definitely go here and check it out if you guys have not seen these but like i said let me know what you guys think let's talk about this let me know if you guys are excited for this if this if these units seem like something that uh you absolutely would use and if you would use them where would you use them but with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your Motivational Gamer bringing you guys another video, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.